Hello guys, hello my amazing people, my people. <laughs> Mon akoye mata o, this one shock me. Hey, then they tell us now say, now me now be the person when he be say for 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 straight mobad when he be say he can't make mobad walk by himself. Una remember say they talk and say he get when mobad won't jump enter water. Say because of say daughter ya say walk by himself. They say different times now mobile made attempt to take by itself before they finally buy him. There's, in fact, my people, I don't want to talk too much. May no bless how they talk matter when we say, hey, no get show. Make we all gather now, make we hear the matter, the way they play from our people then. It's not because I've tried to commit suicide. It means health wise, it wasn't too stable mentally. Have they been trying? to cure that mental, you know, imbalance. What drugs were they using? Who is his doctor? What have they been giving him? What and what and what and what? A lot of questions. For me, this is what we should be asking about and call out those who we think have done something wrong. Because if everything is done properly, we will know who killed this guy. And if nobody killed him, we will know at the end of the day. But if nobody killed him, then why did someone break his neck? That is a big question mark. Why? 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 There are 100 whys on this matter. So, Lady Aris, I hope I've been able to answer your question. That is my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. <laughs> what was my question? I forgot. Oh, you don't forget your question. Um, I still crap. Let me talk to you. He covered oh. all. All you see, these are the people that mama will do teach a lot. He covered the whole textbook. I swear, you <laughs> say when they analyze, in they go straight and make sure they finish the novel. If you know how we stop. The thing that we just put hundred percent because I forgot hundred percent you passed because I forgot my question. Don't <laughs> ask questions, sir. You don't forget your question. But let me just chip you one thing. Sorry, uh, well. Mercy. I want to add one more thing. Okay. You see, okay. I was flipping you around some pass. pages you see today. Add extra I was points. on Lenchi, and people were attacking Lenchi that he bailed out the nurse and all that. And this is what I said, and I will repeat it again. Okay. The people were abusing me, and I will repeat it again. For those who are blaming someone to bail one of the suspects, but they are not blaming themselves or bailing other suspects, I want to ask, what standard are they using? Double to standard. judge themselves. They are all suspects. They are all suspects. Lynch. So what standard are they using? Suspect is suspect. Lenchi did not play, uh, did not bail the nurse. The police gave the nurse bail. It's the police that bail people. I mean, that's Thank you. Lenchi is not the one. I cannot just walk into Patina and say, I want to bail I'll that. Tell someone. I have the money. The person must have met some certain requirements to be bailed. And that does and not Nigeria, mean, that does not mean the person bail. cannot be jailed after conviction. But there's a question someone asked in the comment section. Miss Mercy, please, one quick second. And before the question goes away, uh, you, we don't have to answer it now. You can speak, then we answer it later. The question was, where is this? Uh, Mama Mobad said, Mumi already begged me. And this person said, I can't even find the question again. Beg her for what? Because in one of Mama Moba's statements, she said, But I don't know Beg her for what? Beg her for what? Beg her for what? what? Beg her for what? I think we need to ask Mama Moba that question. So, Miss Idris, please go ahead. Okay, before I forget, I wanted to go to the police board. Arisco, Aristo Crab just remind me of something regarding uh, Lenchi this morning. I did spoke to Lenchi because yesterday was a lot of rumors going around regarding this very nose. And he makes me uh, uh, understand this morning the reasons why he's like that. And I really understand his points because what is the nurse coming to tell us? Now we have the corona inquest. 
you know, the nurse needs to be safe. You know, the nurse needs to be out there for she to be able to come out and talk on the corona inquest. So, if you want to know anything about the nurse, according to Lenchi, go and find the nurse. He has done his own finding. So, if you want to know what happened to the nurse, go and find the nurse and ask the nurse question. But I think it's right as well in that point that there is no point of dragging each of everyone, dragging here, dragging there, dragging here, dragging there. The nurse is okay, and she's going to come for the inquest. That's what we are hoping, and that's what Lenchi said this morning. So I think I, I, I spoke to him. I was on his live very early this morning, and I spoke to him regarding this. That's one. Then the other side, I want to chip in. When uh, Harry Schoolcraft was talking about the police. Yeah, before Baba went to that police station, to me, I believe that the police already know that Moba has spied. Because if they bring a dead body to your station, first of all, you have to send some men to that house where that, where that, where that crime happened. They never did that. So they didn't even send anybody to Moba's house immediately when that cause was still in the station. So for me, before Baba got there, they already know that Baba was coming. Because if there was 100 people in that house and no one, no police was present, meaning hey. that they've already informed the police already. So police... Hello? Knew. Hello? Police I knew. Have a question. Can I finish, please? Mills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the police already knew that this guy don't buy. And that's the reason why they have the results in their table and they are not telling us what they saw. Because for me, they have the results already. They know what has happened to that guy. And they are keeping it because they think that the Nigerians are going to keep quiet, will stop talking very soon, and they will just cover everything down. But I'm assuring them as well to know that this case is not a case that will go down like that because no one is relenting. The more they think we're shutting up, the more we keep shouting. If I'm tired today, Paparano will carry on. If Paparano is tired today, Aris will carry on. Somebody will always be there to keep fighting for this justice until this justice is prevailed. So for me, right from that show, with everything the police has told us from the beginning, if you guys can remember, police never told us from their statement that uh, Spendy was in that car. Never. We never knew that Spendy was in that car when they were releasing their first statement. Never. We didn't know. So from that very show, police already know what is happening. And as we know that this case is not just a ordinary case, there are a lot of people who the police are trying to cover up for them. And that is the reason why they've been playing with us since on the 11th or on the 12th of September till now. But I'm assuring you that many police will lose their uniforms when the truth is out, including all of them who has conspiracy who has hided the truth from yes, us. the n-word pass they will they will definitely Can i have the n-word pass sorry hello can you can you hear me can i have the 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 n-word pass i don't know deal with this i don't know what this person is saying at all what what n-word are you talking yeah. about what n-word yeah. What N word? Uh, uh, <laughs> this person is on colors. Just <coughs> don't hide, don't hide. No, but I'm not laughing. One point, point, highness. So that is that is so proud. I'm uh, I'm with you, and we yeah. actually analyze everything from A to Z, and we just know what it is. But we already know what it is. But they are not coming, you know, to tell us anything. And as for me as well. Who think that you can fool people, but trust me, you are only fooling yourself because a mother should be proud of uh, the paternity of his, his son or his daughter. So you even trying to cause this commotion for just a DNA that is not a death sentence. That has already showed us that you, you don't, in fact, that has already told us the truth. Even without you coming now to tell us, we already know what you're trying to say. Because if you are 100% sure that that baby belongs to Mo, I swear to God, you'll be the one to stand and everyone will come for you. We appreciate you. We support you in any way. We love that boy. Because if we don't have any blood of mobile, like mobile left something behind. It's just that like mobile has walked, has suffered, and is left nothing behind. There's nothing to remember him about. But if that boy is, is Moba's son, then Moba still lives. That means Moba left something behind that we all are going to embrace. We all will be very happy to know that, yes, Moba left something. It didn't just go. So for you, 
refusing and telling all these stories you are giving out, that shows us already. For me as a mother, I would say you already know that that baby is not from Obad. Because if you know that that baby is not from Obad, you'll be the first person to go and say, oh, Nigerians, come on, you guys are exaggerating. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's get this done. But you never came out. All you do is fighting, fighting, Baba. You know, dragging the DNA as if with a drag uh, generator for another place to another place. So for you, Wumi, you already lied right from the beginning. And if you know you are covering up for people, as you said, the industry gods. The industry gods are coming after you. That means you two, you are ready to go down for the industry gods without telling us what has happened. So you are going down with a secret for the industry gods. So if you know what you are saying is right, you should be able to come out and defend. Because you said you are a wife and the wife should be defending the husband in every way. And this guy has gone, has gone. He, he can't speak for himself, but you know they talk. So you are the right person to come out there and say something, what happened to this guy and explain to the world. Because you think that everybody was going to keep quiet because you think that you could do mobile, whatever you, you've been doing mobile while he was alive. But you never knew that it was going to get to this point. So at the end of the day, you are going down with Mobad. You like it or not, even for uh, negligence, you are going down no matter what. You are, not, you are not coming out of it. You are going, you are going. Any of you who has a hand on it, you guys are all going down. Then as for Adura, which is my brother, my enemy. Yes, my brother, my enemies. This Mobad death has actually taught me a lot of things to know that with friends, with family, you can still have people who come around you and say they love you, but they want you dead. They want you sad. Your your sadness makes them feel happy. So this death has also shown me that families can still bring you down if they really want to. Friends can still bring you down. They will be eating and drinking, dancing with you, but they'll be using one bad eye to look at you. And if they find any, any situation that can profit their their envy to bring you down, they will, they will just join. And that's exactly what you are, Dura. Because if you cannot come out and tell the world what happened to your brother, that means you were his brother enemy. You never loved him. You were envy of him. You wanted him down. You wanted to take his position. And this is what you did. And that's the reason why you are doing this today. But trust me, you two, you are going down. And Mama Mobad, who is there, thinking that she's a mother who appeared in Mobad's life after Mobad had made it. I say, mother, you don't even need to be called a motherhood. You don't belong to the motherhood, I swear to God. You don't. Because if you've lost a son and you know that you love that son, okay, you should be a mother that will stand and fight for justice for your son. But what are you doing? You're doing nothing. You're actually clapping hands and dancing their music for them. You too, mama. When the time comes that the secret will be revealed that Mubad actually passed by on Monday, do you know you're actually going down? Because you were there on Monday, you knew everything that happened, and you came back home on Monday, and you pretended that nothing happened, then you caught Baba on Tuesday. If those secrets start coming out, you, Mama, you are also going down, eh? That means everyone is going down here. You guys should know that. It might take us time, but definitely anyone that has hand on Mubad's death, we go down with Mubad. He's not going down alone. You, you people will go down with him. So I really agree that the Nigerian police, they know what they're doing. They just think we're going to keep quiet. And we are not going to keep quiet. We will continue to fly. We will continue to ring. We will continue to cry. We will continue to shout with our voice. With anyhow we can do it, we will continue. We will never give up because we are still on justice for Mubad. And that justice we will definitely get. Thank you for now. Thank you, Miss Idris. Um very well said. Thank you so much. So, uh, Mr. Aristocrat is the moderator here. So let him um, take charge and focus on duration, not that other thing we're focusing on. No, uh, you know, my kind of moderation is I like uh, easy peasy. <laughs> Me, I don't like where people they rush. So, I always, I'm a very democratic person, mm -hmm. so let the people throw in the quest, the topic they want to discuss, or let them ask questions. Or I might look into the comment section, if anybody has a question and does not have opportunity to come to the panel, maybe this time we should try to answer people's question. We will call out their account name and we answer their questions. Oh, well, that that's is a good that well, let me let me ask a question. And it will that, only run for a while. Yeah, let me ask a question. Let me throw the question. Let me be an um, devil's advocate here. 
the question or the uh, the point, the you know, team Wumi, I think that's what we call them, they act all the time. Or the point or the reason why they crucified Baba Mubad was he left the he carried the corpse. He carried the corpse to the police station and they are like, why did he touch it? Why did he not call the police? Can we deliberate? Can we educate them on that a little bit? Because they always say, oh, you should have called the cops. You should have called the police. I mean, we call it cops. I think I mean police. You should have called the police. You should have called the police. Why did he touch? Why did he touch? Can anyone educate Tim Wumi, please? Yeah, let me Let me get your question. Why did he touch what? Why did why did Baba Mobad touch Mobad when he saw him under the staircase? He should have called the police. That is what the team Wumi are holding against Baba Mobad. Let me also ask this question. Was there evidence that Baba Mobad touched Mobad while he was under the stairs? God he bless said you. he saw him. That was his report. He said someone you know, pointed his attention to it that Baba, he said he never said he touched him. And even when the Baba wanted to take his son away, he called ambulance. So if you call ambulance to take a corpse, not be you go touch him now. Yes, now. Thank now the you. medical personnel. Yeah. Thank the you. The question we should be asking is this number one. Mubad was taken to hospital and they said he was brought in dead. Those people that took him to the hospital initially have tampered with his body. They were the primary people that touched his body. When he was eventually returned back to his house, the people that performed the local empowerment on him are the secondary people that touched his body. So why are they not blaming the primary and secondary and they are blaming the man that gave order for his body to be moved to the morgue? That should be the question. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for that. Let me just tip in a little bit that I was privy to. Uh, when this first, because those questions, I personally post those questions to Papa Mobad. And I didn't even ask him, trying to say, why did you touch the body? I even asked him, because I was trying to ascertain if the body was fresh, warm, or cold, trying to determine the time of death. That was why I asked him. I asked, I, I, Aries, I asked Baba, that was way back then when I was still talking to him. I asked him, I said, Baba, when they showed you the body under the stairs, did you touch him? Was it warm, cold, lukewarm, or what? Baba told me. He said, no, I did not touch him. Uh -uh. I was even mad at him. I said, uh -uh. Hey, for what? Okay. I mean, I thought you were going to touch him, shake him, and say, uh -uh. what happened? Baba said, I was just looking. I think in a state of shock. So Baba did not. Just to tell Tim Wumi, screen recording, Baba did not touch the body at any given time. He did not. To me, I even think that was a wrong move. I probably would have touched, God forbid, but I would have touched the body to see if the body was warm, if the body is cold, lukewarm, the degree of the body temperature. I would have touched the body. But Baba did not touch the body. Number one. Number two. Baba was not. Baba nipe iba ta won ri awon ni mo bi kilo sele. Wo mi se and I'm telling you what Baba told me personally. Wo mi said eh it's in London. Owa pe nurse, owa funi injection, owa react. 
Okay? That he had ear infection. They called the nurse. He reacted to the medication. That was what Baba told me. Now, I asked another question. Baba asked me, what are we going to do? Check out the ambulance. Then somebody said to me, yes, we should call ambulance. Then Baba said to me, Baba told them to go ahead and call ambulance. Baba was not the one that even called the ambulance. Baba was not the one that even called the ambulance. Baba does not know how to Google ambulance number. Neither did he have an ambulance called on his phone. So it was one of those hundred people that were around that called the ambulance. And when the ambulance came, they picked the body. So, uh, for a little clarification to, to this team, Wumi, and their narratives, Baba did not touch the body. Ambulance were called, the ambulance was called, and the, you know, the technicians, the undertakers with the ambulance, the paramedics, the paramedics picked the body. And that is another problem system. When paramedics attend to 911 call, okay, police supposed to come with, or they also, if any foul play was suspected, they have the duty to call the police because they were also supposed to ask the question, what happened so you see we should stop crucifying baba he wasn't the one that called or he did not touch the body so please Harris, sir you know what i will say to this you see it is not everything that people say that won't respond to because anyone that has his or her head on a on on the neck we think before you answer and when some people ask some stupid question you don't answer it people are talking about touching evidence is it the body that was already buried before police came into the matter and you are talking about touching evidence you too they took the body assuming they went to police station police the door and tied the body has been tampered with with the first set of people that embalmed him the body was tampered with when they got to Ikorodu Mug. The body was tampered with when they moved it into a coffin. So are they going to arrest all those people? The body was tampered with when they buried the body and it was decomposing under the earth. So what are they talking about? Touching the body, all those things, there are things you don't answer. There are simple things you don't even answer because they are foolish man's thoughts. And if you don't want to be a fool, you do not argue with a fool. So there is no need to argue. Someone asked a question in the comment section. He says, Percy, he said, he want to ask the question that, was it good for a mother to take a five-month-old child to a rave, that is to a show, to, to a concert? People on the panelists, please, can, you can answer that. That's for me stupid. How can you take a five for five five months a year old child to where they are smoking, making noise? All right, guys. I'll see you guys if there's more updates. I'll bring it to your notice. But for now, this is the update that we have. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, depending on the time you are watching this video. I'll see you in our next updates. Bye.